Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be uh, unboxing this a new weed eater I got. It's a uh, backpack weed eater with a conduit and uh, and the handle here. So it's uh, it's the same motor that's on the uh, 52cc GRM 520 uh, that I've made some videos about, and we'll put some put some links up there somewhere. And uh, so this is a backpack version of the same the same machine. Alright, so here we go. Let's uh, let's get this thing opened up here. This first box kind of exploded a little bit. That old tape probably just gave out. Here's a uh, here's the conduit, and it's got some little plastic things on there. It's just kind of flexible, so that's that's neat. Pull that off. There's a shaft right here with a little square uh, square drive to it and an O-ring. I'm gonna leave that on there for now. And this side does not have an o-ring and is a square drive so let's see what we have that matches that so there's one thing get out my knife here okay so this box here has has the main well there was a screw that just fell out not sure where that goes but we'll figure that out uh, the main trigger assembly here for the uh, the handle and the uh, coupler for the attachments and this is what the uh, the conduit with the shaft in the middle of it the flexible part attaches to so let's uh, pull that out and looks like we have the hedge trimmer and these attachments should be very similar to the to the GRM 520. This is the string trimmer head. Uh, this has got. I haven't even looked at this stuff, guys. So you're kind of seeing it when I see it, which is kind of neat, right? So we got the string trimmer head here, hedge trimmer attachment. And looks like the pole saw attachment. I can see where this would be really nice with that backpack. You don't have to hold up the the heavy um, motor of the GRM 520. So yeah, that looks looks complete. I believe this screw, the one that fell out, goes into the into this right here. This is the connector for the, the coupler. I'm just going to thread that in. Hopefully it comes with a tool kit like the other one did. Alright, so that's it for these two boxes. Now we're, or, yeah, now we're going to open up the main box. Looks like there's just a box in a box. Uh, fuel measuring thing. There's the string trimmer head. Uh, you know, that's nice. It's preloaded. Bump to feed. Comes with some blades. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's an actual carbide tip saw blade. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. So that's kind of neat. That's nice. It comes with that. I didn't, <laughs> didn't actually know that. I was expecting another... Uh, three blade yeah like this that came on with the uh, GRM 520 so there's another one of those they're kind of kind of thin and uh, I have bent the other one but it, it is still usable I, I use it now still and here's oh here's another blade oh, it comes with two blades I don't know if that's a mistake or or the way it's supposed to come but got two of those Okay. Oh, this says a 40 tooth, and that one, the other one said a 60 tooth. So two different, two different amounts of teeth on the blade. So we got a four-in-one pole pruner saw. So this is what it's going to look like when we finally get done. Should be, uh, well, actually that's the uh, that's the GRM 520. Well, look at that. 
we don't really need that anyways. Here's the brush guard. Okay, that looks looks good. I guess it's supposed to be like that. That'll work. Here's the uh, bar for the pole saw. That's nice. Handle for the trimmer. Here's the the actual power head. Got a plastic bag wrapped around it. Get that out of there. Looks like the chain might be in there. Yeah, there's the chain for the pole saw. So that's nice. All right. We don't need the plastic bag anymore. There's where all of our connections hook up for the handle. So here you get a good view of this here. This should be very similar to the to the other one. This has a little pin here that unlocks the shaft from from there. Fuel tank looks the same. Very very similar. Has some anti-vibration springs on there. So that's cool. It locks. So it goes it doesn't go but so far you can only turn it but so far there's a little post in there that keeps it from turning both ways so that's pretty cool uh, let's see if it has that easy start like on the GRM 5 520 this thing's a whole lot to hold on to no it's just a straight a straight starter so that's okay no problem alright now uh, let's go ahead and start assembling everything and get get going we're going to start with the power head here and you can see it's got this little pull pin and let's let's go ahead and check these uh, these ends out to see what they look like looks like this uh, this end here with the hole in it without the o-ring is what's going to go into the engine let's try to line up the little shaft there and push that in and drop that pin in at the same time that, that's pretty nice all right and then let's set this down so you can see what I'm doing I've got this end here that uh, has the o-ring on it and it looks like it has two grooves and those should correspond with the bolt that's running on this side of the of the shaft here and uh, manufacturer provides this little tool kit and I, I love these love these little tool kits that they provide now the tools are not you know high quality last you the rest of your life they might last the life of this machine I'm not sure yet because the other machine the GRM 520 the uh, brush cutter is still running so I'm still using the tools from that so it looks like I'm gonna slide this on here and what I'm gonna do is line up line up this uh, this handle is loose here also it's just fine we'll tighten it down when we when we go to go to use it what I'm doing is I'm looking on the inside of here of this this bolt hole that I just took out and I'm trying to line up this groove looks like right there is perfect so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to push it in push it in and insert the bolt at the same time There we go. I just held on to this end of it with my hand and pushed and pushed the bolt in at the same time while I was pushing the conduit in. So let's see if we can get this tightened up. This is the larger of the two Allen wrenches that are in the in the kit. It looks like this has a little swivel to it once this is attached. While I'm on the subject of tightening screws down, I will offer this bit of advice from fooling with the other weed eater yes it does have a little bit of swivel uh, do check every nut and bolt on this thing I had to tighten down everything so it looks like this assembly here is going to follow the conduit all the way back to the carburetor so let's put that on there looks like we're going to need to remove this air cleaner cover from here and it's the smaller of the two allen wrenches that come in the tool kit be careful with the tool kit it also has the nuts and bolts in it for the for the the d loop that goes on the uh, 
implement shaft over there. So we'll take these, this one Allen screw out. Yeah, it looks like that's all that holds it in there. There we go. Just get that out of the way. I like this air cleaner assembly much better than the other one. Just my personal opinion. That just gives me a little bit more room to finagle this throttle cable in here. So this now you can see I've got the carburetor here. And here's a uh, plate that's on here that's threaded. Hopefully you can see all that. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so we're going to thread the thread the conduit into this threaded plate right here and uh, just start it in there a little bit and then what you'll do is this little part here where the throttle cable goes into spins and there's a there's a wider part and a skinnier part and you want the wider part there's a hole drilled in it that's bigger than the other side so you'll want to have that facing toward the rear of the motor where the recoil start is so you'll open the throttle, lay the, the cable down in there, and then it locks into it. So this is where you want to have... There you go. Looks like, yeah, it looks like that's going wide open throttle. That's perfect right there. I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. I get good throttle response. Everything looks great. So in your tool kit, you'll have a wrench. And that wrench will fit this nut so you will want to tighten that nut against this plate right here and that's it so that's good check it one more time this is going wide open throttle because this part is touching this part so you can see we're getting full full motion the uh, the next setup here is uh, we're gonna plug in these bullet connectors into the kill switch wires these have little insulation doodads on them. So just slide those over top of everything and make sure everything is safe and not shorting out against anything. That's nice. All right, so that's the end. That was easy. So let's go ahead and put the air cleaner cover back on. That just goes down into these two little holes, these little feet go into those two holes right there and then it pivots over and then again this is going to be the smaller of the two allen wrenches that come in the tool kit all right that's good no need to over tighten that so it looks like now we can go ahead and tighten up this this trigger assembly on here not sure exactly where I want it I think I'm going to want it in line with the Right here, if you look, I've got this, the clamp assembly for the attachments it goes up front here. And uh, I'm going to put the, the kill switch of the trigger in line with, with this here. So the tool comes with this, the tool kit comes with this scrunch, and uh, it has a Phillips uh, tip on it. So I'm going to use that to tighten down this throttle assembly to the, and that's this lower this lower screw here on the back side so that one gets tightened up and this by the way is a much nicer Phillips screwdriver than that came on the other weed eater the GRM 520 uh, and then we're going to tighten this upper forward one here too go ahead and tighten that up those should be the only two you need While it's not the best screwdriver, it is way more functional than the other one. So it looks like that's that's good. That's on there, nice and straight. Perfect. All right.